it is the standard normal distribution, find k such that the probability that z is greater than k is 0 0.73. So the standard normal distribution is, is a normal distribution with a mean of 0 and standard deviation of 1. So what I'm going to do is draw it. Something like that. It's not quite worked out how I wanted it here, but I'm going to stick with it. Supposed to be symmetrical, so the mean is zero. Okay. Right. So then, remember, in a standard normal distribution or any normal distribution, you've got kind of sixty-eight percent of the values um, around or well, within one standard deviation of the mean either side. So that's supposed to be kind of on these points of inflection. So that would be here and here. By the, by the way, I don't need this whole sketch for the question, but I just want to talk about the standard normal distribution. So this number is 1, because the standard deviation is 1. So this number must be minus 1. Then if we go another standard deviation away, well, this must be 2. And this here must be minus 2. And one more, we go 3. Minus 3 and 3. So remember, you have 99.7% of the values, or ish, within three standard deviations of the mean, so that's nearly everything, and it's, I think, 95.4-ish within two standard deviations in this area here. So this is the standard normal distribution. So we want to find a k such that the probability x is greater than k is 0 0.73. So if you think this, if I drew a line here in the middle, well, that's 0 0.5, right? So I reckon it's got to be somewhere in here, and Obviously, if you were just doing this question, you wouldn't have all of these lines anyway. So I, I don't kind of want to be held to account if I'm the, right, the wrong side of the minus one. It's, it's not about that. I just I certainly need to be left of the mean though, and I certainly need to shade the right tail. So this is what I'm interested in. And this is going to be 73% of the values. So it means there's a um, area of 0 0.73. Okay, so I just need to find the z value that makes that true. And if you look at it, well, we don't know what it's going to be, but I know it's going to be negative. It's got to be less than zero. It's got to be that side of the zero. So if we have a probability and we're finding a value that makes the probability, I need to um, go to the calculator, menu stat, uh, distribution, normal, inverse normal, and variable right tail it is right tail remember if your calculator only does left tail just do left tail and this would be 0 0.27 so you can still do it it's not that big a deal but i'm going to stick with the right tail 0 0.73 i need to sigma remember is one and mu is zero it's the standard normal distribution and we have a look and it tells me that that number needs to be 0 0.613. K, sorry, equals minus 0 0.613. So as far as interpreting it, well, if you've kind of got this um, picture, it already is the interpretation, really. But what it means is 73% of the values in the distribution, in the Z distribution, Uh, more than or greater than minus 0 0.613 so that is an interpretation really but you're very unlikely to be really asked for that it's, I do think the sketch is a very good idea if you can get your head around those the normal distribution becomes really really easy